prevent crime. Question number 12, Joe Hayes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Whanau Water. Has he asked the Honourable Willie Jackson if he was both a government minister and a trustee of the Manukau Urban Māori Authority when it received dividends from Te Pau Matakana? If so, what was his response? Mr Speaker. No, this is outside of my responsibilities as the Minister for Whanau Water. Supplementary. Has he asked the Honourable Willie Jackson if he was both a government minister and a trustee of the National Urban Māori Authority when it received dividends from Te Pau Matakana? If so, what was his response? A point of order, the right hon. Mr Speaker, please. normally that question would be allowed, but that question imputes an illegality on a conflict of interest with no evidence whatsoever, and that, this House should know that that's going to lead to disorder. If that member wishes to make those sorts of insinuations by way of a question, then we need the evidence. Otherwise, it's out of order in my submission. Point, point of order. Point no, of order. before I deal with that, the two members who interjected uh, while Mr Peters was on his feet will stand withdraw and apologise. Withdraw and apologise. Withdraw and apologise. Well, there were three. But I, <laughs> so. uh, Mr Speaker, with regards to that, firstly, it was a question to, and, and a question about a, a subject the Minister should know about, but it also came after a series of questions at a select committee, and the transcript, of course, would be available should the Foreign Minister wish to read it. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to ask the member to read her question again. I think it, it went right up to the margin. It doesn't have authentication, but I want, I want to listen to it carefully. Has he asked the Honourable Willie Jackson if he was both a government minister and a trustee of the National Urban Māori Authority when it received dividends from Te Pau Matakana? If so, what was his response? Yeah, no, that's, that, that question's acceptable. Uh, Mr Speaker, no, and I have full confidence in the management of conflicts of interest by this government. Supplementary. Why hasn't he asked the Honourable Willie Jackson that question, considering the disagreements and information that came to light in a One News story last week? Mr Speaker, the member shouldn't believe everything she sees on the news. <laughs> order. You were on there. <laughs> Supplementary. Supplementary. How can he be certain then that the $600,000 of dividends will be reinvested back into Whānau Order if his own CEO was concerned about the practice? Mr Speaker, uh, I'm confident because uh, the recipients of such a fund uh, actually are charitable entities and as Minister for the Community and Voluntary Sector with uh, purview over charities, they are obliged to reinvest that money into their charitable purpose and into their services in the community. Supplementary. Has he had a word with his colleague for further background on the administrative error which <coughs> saw him remain as a trustee for NUMA up until February this year? And if so, what was his answer? Mr Speaker, my understanding is that administrative error has been corrected. <laughs> that concludes oral questions. <laughs> Sorry, Mr Speaker, that's me. The Honourable Chris Hopkins. I move that the